Nothing is are for you, sale. Nothing. What? It's for sale? It's not for sale. Oh my god. Hey! What are you? We're trying to do a deal here, okay? It's not for sale. It's so not for close. sale. It's not for sale. I was so close to buying something. I'm here with the world famous Renee. You may you may actually recognize his voice from the Sing movies. You know the animated cartoon Sing movies? Gunter! Yeah, the two of us together? You joking me? What's happening? I don't know how to accent this with the Sing movies, but I just say, <laughs> hey, go fight the resistance. It's just <laughs> like that. <laughs> George What's happening? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we've been. He's married. <laughs> I'm married. I am married. <laughs> we have been goofing around and getting nothing done all day. Now, George and I, we obviously are big fans of Renee and Casey, Bargain Hunters Thrifts on YouTube and all other social media platforms. We watched when they got their new warehouse in the. Uh, I don't think we're in California anymore. We're in some other state. We might be in the Midwest. We could be in the east. It's you might have actually went to the east. It was so clean back then, Renee. It still is clean. It was, it was like spotless. Um, can I get a little tour? I kind of want to see what happens once uh, you buy a storage unit. Well, it's Casey has a hoarding problem. Everybody it's knows not. that. It's not. It's Renee's. I know. It's Storage Wars or is it Hoarders? Which one is it? This is Storage Wars. It is Storage Wars, right? Storage no, Wars. It's Hoarders. Storage Wars. Hoarders. Absolutely. Listen, the best buyers. They get all that merchandise and they have it stored away, not hoarded away, stored away for when they need it to make it's, money. It's an investment. Yeah. Big investment. Let's 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 uh, show me show me what do we got? So you guys watched the tour video, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Love Remember it. the video we talked about? We're gonna make a really cool couch setting in a hangout room when our friends I come. Almost see a couch for your friends to sit on. Almost. Like, oh, under all these boxes. Like I can maybe I can maybe put a foot. Maybe up there. Look at that leg. Look at that this white This couch leg. looks like the couch we have on our our, our pond dock. We do. We have a few leather our couches pond on our pond dock in Florida. Yeah. So basically, you're in the hangout room right now. This is where we would hang out. Okay. We could hang out. We could probably hang out not on the couches, maybe on a chair or two. I, <laughs> Just, I remember you saying you were gonna put a TV. Yeah, that's the TV right, right here. Right over here. That's and, the TV. Uh, well, it's a, that's where the TV one day is going to go. She bought the Apple box for how much? Brand new sitting in box. You haven't even opened it yet. because Actually, have we have it TV. in there. We, I yeah. built one in there. Okay, that's what friends are for. <laughs> we're here. We're going to uncover the couch. And we're putting up a TV before we leave. <laughs> Casey, I got to ask you, what's your favorite part of the warehouse? Uh, probably the kitchen. Come check it out. They have a They're kitchen. Are you getting hangry? Right? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Their kitchen is filled with hummels. Um, yeah, there used to be all tidy and you could eat here, but, you know, the merchandise has started overflowing this way. Is that an original Tarzan? Right? Check it no. out. Look, babe, video games. You video, like video ga games? Casey, We've how much Kirby. how much for these video games? For college selling selling video games? Yes, or yes, I did. I paid all my way through college party. selling video games. Yeah. Yep. That's Zelda. Zelda. That's a good one right there. Starcraft. The Zelda is the most expensive one so far that I've seen. Uh, Micro Wait, machines there's a Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon. how much. How much does Pokemon stop stop worth? I don't. Know, Renee. <laughs> He's busy. He's busy. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal before he knows. You've got I, some yeah, right. awesome Nothing stuff in sale. here. Nothing is Are for you, sale. What? Nothing is for sale? We don't, just, we don't just sell anymore. You just offered if, me water If I for find free. some garbage pail kids or some Ghostbusters, can I buy it? We do have one upstairs for I, sale. I, we have a really nice one cash. upstairs. <laughs> okay, all right. Wait, we pay cash too. What do you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that usually on your t-shirt? Yeah, it yeah. It's really yeah. big. We pay cash. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so what else is amazing about this uh, kitchen? Um, Renee would say probably this. Oh, the gumball collection. Super cool. That is very oh, cool. Oh, look at that, self service. Vintage. So that was probably like peanuts or pretzels or something Drinks like that. It has the cup holders. Oh, it was. Or I don't know. There would be well, a drink in there? No, I take that back. Well, maybe. Back. I don't know. I wasn't. Maybe they had mini Coca Cola bottles in there. I don't know. Yeah. That's an old one center. The cup is so that it would prevent it from melting in your hand you and go. in the mouth. There you mean you it? for M&M's? Yes. You think it was for M&M's? I think so. What do you think the one centers were? Bubblegum. Oh, I love me some bubblegum. Yeah, these gum. are all bubble. They're all older than all of us. Very I would cool. not recommend eating any of it. I <laughs> love this scale. You know, you know where that scale would look incredible? At Hale's headquarters. 
How much? Oh boy. Uh, Renee. Renee. <laughs> oh, uh, Renee. Sale. I'm going to sell it for too cheap. And I might accidentally it? sell it for too much. What's happening? How much, how much for the scale? Not for sale. Not for sale? <laughs> okay, $500. Oh, see, I would have said $200. See, Jeremy. 500 pesos sold. Cool stuff in the office, right? I see something extremely cool right now. You're lucky we didn't bring oh. a sledgehammer. Well, oh, I guess we didn't need it. A safe in a yeah. safe? Is that a safe in a safe? Oh, that's cool. Very I left cool. Terry on the safe, all the woodworking and stuff. That's beautiful. Uh, we have to combo then slot machine. I like that stuff. Oh. That's really cool. Very and then so cool. something really cool for you users. So we got about a thousand of these. And these are mostly Argosy. These are called pulp magazines. And these are pre-comic books. And then it's not these Argosies here, but if you look at the... Um... This is what kind of started the comic book revelation, right? I mean, it really... Yeah. This and then boom, 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 boom. So a lot of the... Oh, here you go. Thrilling adventures. So a lot, a lot of these comic book artists, they used to do covers for these pulp magazines yep. and then they went into comic yep. books. Like these books will be worth like 20 up to two, three thousand dollars a book. And we bought a deal with Phase Ruck where we got like a thousand of these. And one day we might sell some of them. Yeah. Another huge <laughs> YouTuber, uh, Phase Rug and uh, great, incredible deal there. Uh, Renee, which part of this office is actually? Renee, when you guys your first office? moved here, I remember the his and her desk. Yeah, I love it. Wait, whose love desk it. is this right here? My, this is me. This is where the big kahuna sits. Wait, hold a second. You get all of this space. This is my space. Two monitors. All of this space. All of the space is mine. How did you negotiate <laughs> that deal with Casey? Because uh, I'm stuck in a corner, dude. You need to argue more. She's Arabic. That's the worst thing I could actually do. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they they live for it. Like that's their. When you look at weeks and strengths, that's on the strength side. I mean, that's just part of the part of the DNA. I feel like if I have a comeback job, joke, it's just going to backfire on me. So I just have to say it. That's, see, that's how I got stuck in the corner. So <laughs> well, the corner is nice. It's cozy. I like the office. What do you got back here? What do you got back here? I got all kind of like, so this is a bunch of money we just found in the unit. We actually were supposed to sell all this on whatnot, and then I forgot about it. Oh, you're going to you gonna do it on whatnot? If we re-sign another deal with them, then yes, it will go on whatnot. You if got not, a stack nice. of keep foreign it. money. Very That's cool. really cool. Hmm. So, And then I love this stuff I collect. German soccer card. It's not worth more, much. It's probably like a $30, $40 card, but I love But you German. still collect it. Yeah, anything German. Any German soccer cards. That's all kinds. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, these actually, I got these on a yard sale for dollars on a video, and these are actually pretty hard to get. They're like 30, 40 bucks a piece on oh, eBay. This old Sega. I love Sega. Yeah, but it's some kind of weird handheld that just didn't last that long. I don't know which handheld that is, though. Let yeah. me give you a lesson. You know what this okay. is? That is an original Brian Adams CD. No, guys, he does not know what it is. It's the master recording. This is what everything was was dubbed from. I'm not even going to argue or I'm going to be put in a corner just like George did to me. Guys, you want to learn something else about making money? These are called Mobile Fidelity. The easy giveaway, the black with the gold lines. Back in the day, you could buy the CD. The regular CD was probably like 20 bucks, Or you could get the Mobile Fidelity, which was on gold-plated, and it was 60 bucks. These are highly collectible now. They have Mobile f Fidelity CDs for certain artists. And I think there's only like 250 different ones. Certain artists are like two, 3000 bucks. But also when you look at the thing right here, MFSL, Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs, I believe. If I remember it. They also have a silver version of these. But Does that have Summer 69 on it? I don't know. Come on, let's see. Summer yeah. Summer 69. How much you want for that? I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks on eBay. I, I was certain he was going to tell me it's not for sale. But it's not for sale because I collect See, these. look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's not for sale. Well, I'll tell you where you could find it, but actually I actually collect these. So, uh, but mobile fidelity, guys, another thing that you learn on what the hell's. Whose office is this over here? This is Casey. Mm -hmm. So this is Casey's whole place. Over. Are you allowed to cross over into the Casey arena? Oh, yeah. Those are my sports cards over there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold a second. You're putting your cards over in Casey's area? Oh, yeah. This when she's not here. Just like George taking over my shelves for mm -hmm. her shelvises. Got another important question for you. What is your least favorite area of the warehouse? Um, the part that I call hoarders. Let's go check it out. I hope you don't get overwhelmed by a lot of stuff. All right, resellers. Do resellers really get overwhelmed by a lot of stuff? I don't know. Maybe it's they do. Hot. I'm oh. feeling very overwhelmed right now. Very, very like about to overwhelmed. Yeah, oh my goodness. Earthquake, right? <laughs> California's notorious. Please don't have an airport. 
or Wait, Casey, what's this? Old, what's this stuff right over these here? Are all old magazines and old newspapers. So they're what? converted into books. Look, see, 1942. Some of them go as far back as 1884. Each wow. one of these is at least a hundred dollars. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. So uh -oh. Something just fell. Yeah. Something just fell. Yeah. Something just yeah. fell. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> let's let's look through here. Okay, I, I'm looking for garbage pail items, uh, garbage pail kids. I know, you and me both, there's, we have it, it's someplace, good luck finding it. You think it would be in here somewhere? <laughs> it is, trust me, I know it is, because we bought that hoarder house, the, the comic book hoarder house, so there were toys from the 60s, 70s, 80s, all the pop culture stuff of those days. And it is everywhere so you guys are four you, stories you guys palletize everything that you I, sort right oh uh, yeah when we first got in guys, believe it or not hey. there's a forklift it's not for sale oh my god hey <laughs> where are you we're trying to do a deal here okay it's not for sale how much if if i find garbage pail kids how much good luck finding them i know right <laughs> At least he's honest. Right, exactly. <laughs> so you palletized everything and moved it here? Yeah, so there are like three different pallets. I think there's at least 30,000 Hot Wheels packed up wow. here. Wow. Um, yeah, action figures, Hot Wheels, toys, um, you name it, it's there. I'm like, I can't even think. It's so overwhelming. And, and this has been here for a little bit of time, and it... Renee really knows how to pack a space. <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever? Like, we've already emptied this side of the warehouse twice now, and we filled up again. So The side that I just panned over? Yes. You've emptied this whole thing out twice. Yeah, because we had to get the forklift Okay. Out. There's a, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a forklift in here somewhere? Yeah, but the other way is it's that one. I mean, <laughs> there's a forklift in here somewhere it's buried exactly. it's now buried you see somewhere. why i say it's not storage drawers it's hoarders so <laughs> how big is this actual warehouse area um i think it's like two thousand square feet That's... we haven't been here that long i don't know we barely got in here you saw we did a video where we walk you through we give you the tour and then we filled it up like really fast and how, how, have, how like, quick? Like one week, two weeks? Um, it was a gradual process, a couple weeks, and then we still have storage units. Renee's always like 10, maybe 20. He starts getting vague, and then he's like, you know, phone call. <laughs> Do you think we could buy a storage unit from them? Do you think Renee will, if nothing uh, is for sale in the warehouse, will Renee sell us at least one storage unit? No, because they're like, a lot of them are from the comic book quarter house, which it's super, like, we're sitting on a, a pretty penny. That's I, okay. I, so. I pay pretty nickels. All right. That's where you're going to find your garbage pail. <laughs> I don't think it's funny that you have me standing over here right next to <coughs> um, heavyweights. Hey, I'm on the keto diet. Not the Cheeto diet. <laughs> you know, I was about to tell you, I do have a really cool Ghostbusters piece, but you kind of messed it up with that attitude. Really? You do have one? <laughs> not anymore. It's, 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 so not for sale. it's not for sale. I was so close to buying something. It was so really close good. to buying something. You're actually standing in our whatnot studio right now. So this is where all your magic happens. This is where all the magic happens. So behind behind the cameras, if George, if you just turn around, you see lights... You see a TV. You see a. There's George. You see another George. Hey, George. Hey, Why is everybody's name George? Because it's a cool name. And actually, so half of the studio's gone right now. We took out all the cameras, the PCs, and if we sign another run with them, we're actually going to rebuild the whole thing with even a bigger studio setup. That's why you only see half of it. Really cool setup. You got all kinds of things going on here. I What's like all... the window that overlooks the uh, Is that the where warehouse? you were yelling at me from? Yeah, just to make sure she doesn't sell you anything. <laughs> I'm not saying she did, and I'm not saying she didn't. She That's didn't. all. I just, I just, I'm not saying nothing. So what's all this stuff back here then? Just toys, collectibles, Atari Game Center. We actually have something for George, for the skinny George, not big George. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you see what here's like on the end. What's oh, my God, George? happy. <laughs> Yay. George. Yes. We, we, we know you like Elvis. For me? No! <laughs> no! What do you mean, no? No! Well, what do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> for no. me? Thank no. you! It's not for sale, Why George. are you so it's jealous? Free. It's free. We like you, George. He's it's not free. selling it. <laughs> <laughs> you told me nothing was for sale. It's and not now, for sale. It's a gift. George, you do not need Can this. I get their autograph? You? Do you have a pen? We do have signature pens. So we signed Somewhere? Somewhere? 
Okay. Oh, oh, over there, a marker. <laughs> okay, yes, over there. There's a marker over there. If you sign this, you have to sign it as Elvis Presley. <laughs> Elvis and Priscilla. That's what. That's the only way it's going to work. Can I'm I get your autograph story, too, Casey? <laughs> it's it's got to say. You guys are going to have to sign something for us, though. Sure. Listen, the last time Renee asked me to sign something, I got in trouble. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be okay or not. What did you write? I'm he married. wrote, "I'm, I'm married." married. <laughs> All right, that's been the running joke all day today. <laughs> all day today. Look, I don't even need a COA. You guys see it firsthand there right there. There it is. This is the COA. This is going on my shelves. I bet I can find more Elvis stuff than you can Garbage Trail Kids. Hey, do you guys still do give outs on What the Hells? Yeah, we do. You guys want to do a little special give out, just What the Hells exclusive? Yeah. yeah Open that top drawer. We're going to give them. How many give outs do we want to do? Two, three? What do we want to do? Uh, that depends. How many garbage show kids can we find that you want? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys, no give outs. <laughs> we don't do give, give outs. Hearts. And then give me three sleeves. Okay. We usually okay. do. We hearts. usually do two or three giveaways. We, we usually do two or three during an auction. Let's yeah. do three because we, we, we. I think they deserve it. We've got penny okay. sleeves here. Okay. okay. Oh, we we won't need a COA for this either. This is the real deal. You're seeing it happen right yeah, here. It's happening right here. It says. I'm married. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to do uh, here. Don't write over the head. One of three. Okay. okay. He tends two, to do that. Two of three. Two of three. Two of three. Face, and I'm like, nobody wants three to of three. Three on the face. Okay, Tanya, uh, Casey, wait, how about Sensei? Wait, 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 wait. Hold one on, second, one second, on, one second. Before on. she does it. Before she does it. Okay. One second. One second. This one's a special one. I'm giving him glasses <laughs> and a mustache oh and a goatee. All right, there we go. There you go, Casey. That one and of one. We have one, two giveaways. That one of, that just one of three. Just what the hell's on top. It's the what the hell's exclusive edition. That's an extremely special one right now. That's a special one. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you ever wanted to know, Renee's the instigator, and Casey is the sweetest sweet can be. Oh, she's the angel. Oh, such a sweetheart. You guys are so, too kind. Thank so you. If, if, you, if you've ever watched Sing or Sing 2, the animated, uh, the animated movie, uh, Casey is Ash. She's the porcupine with the angelic voice. Oh, the sweet Ash. She's the she's the one that out sings all of them. Oh, you're too kind. And then Renee is Gunter. I don't know what that means, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody watching who's seen Sing and Sing Two does. They're all gonna come on my channel and just refer to Gunter. Like, like, hey, everybody's Gunter. talking about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which Renee's dad's name Gunter. is actually Gunter. And he's got yeah. long hair. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Three, Three what the hell's exclusive Look individually numbered. Nice. Wow. We'll give them to George so this way they make okay. it. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll take this so I make sure it doesn't make it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was able to find an Elvis item versus Jeremy finding a garbage pail item. Do you have any more Elvis items then? I don't, but I do have <laughs> one eBay listing right here because you guys said you like Ghostbusters. You have Ghostbusters? Na, na, na. Whoa. whoa! Whoa, 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 here, 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 George, George, take that. Okay, take okay, that. okay. The original, these are Kenners. That's the green ghost right there. That's Slimer. Just needs to be oh, Look at that. Off. Just needs like to be a little clean. See? It's antique. <laughs> Let's see. And we've got, oh man, how cool is that? Kenner came out with all these. These were a huge, huge, huge hit. And this is the original. Now, Hasbro's come out with another change. Everything from the 80s is coming back. Like, oh, everything. Yeah. So this is the original. This isn't a remake, even though Hasbro, from my knowledge, hasn't remade this. But this is a beautiful, iconic piece of, uh, of Ghostbusters history. Do you think he'll sell it? Maybe. I mean, it's on eBay. I mean, is there Maybe. any way I could sweet talk him into selling it to me? And Yeah, why not? Hey, Renee! <laughs> hey, we found some Ghostbusters! Oh, boy. So on eBay, Here I know we're selling it for 150 but let's see. Maybe we'll get you a good deal. Friends and family deal. Yeah. Friends and for family. George or you? For George. <laughs> for George. Oh, you can just take it. No, wait a second. You don't like Ghostbusters. <laughs> George, go with that deal. Go with that deal. Oh, for you, we'll do like 145 145 <laughs> It's a discount. It's for George. It's for George, for though. George, for George, we'll do a $100 bill. Ooh, it's for sale? <laughs> Check that out. Which which storage unit did you find this in? I, actually, I think that comes from that hoarder house. Is this the, from the hoarder house? I'm 90% sure this is from the hoarder house, yeah. 
but I buy so much stuff I don't really know. That's it's hard to remember. It <laughs> is. You know, people ask us all the time. Well, you remember that when you found that in this place and that place? Oh. We have no clue. It just all blends in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So yeah, it blends in. You guys know what that's like. Okay. How much you got to have for it? Hundred bucks for George. George, you doing the deal? <laughs> you doing the deal? Yeah. Hundred dollar bill. Shake on, it. Shake, on <laughs> shake on it. Shake on it before he says it's not for sale. <laughs> All right, hundred dollar bill. Yes. To add Casey, to the collection. Get, get the money. Get the money. <laughs> Pay the lady. Pay the lady. Pay the lady. <laughs> what are we looking at now, Renee? We got Jordans. From, that's not a really great video. We kill it with this. We need to is, list these. Is that a double these are wide? Nikes, not Nikes. They're just thirteens. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I like. I mean, I Nike it. I Nike it. Okay. <laughs> and we got Leroy Neiman's up here. What's a, what's this that? Like Eighty five hundred bucks on eBay. That painting. That yeah. Yeah. We, we don't list it, but one sold like the same one. We keep that. We got a few Leroy Neiman's. George. I really got to stop donating all of our artwork to Goodwill. Yeah. You donated one like that to Goodwill? Uh, more than one. <laughs> more than one. Check this one out over here. This is Jack Nicholas. Jack, Jack, oh no, Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Lee Rainyman signed by Arnold Palmer and Lee oh, Rainyman. I love Arnold oh, Palmer's. Arnold actually signed it. Yeah, and this is a very low issue, only 125 made. Like a lot of the Leroy Neiman stuff is like the good stuff is usually like 500 to 800, and then a lot of his pieces are like two, three thousand. We have another one over here. Actually, you might know this one. It's, is it from? Um... Oh, please don't tell me it's Elvis again. No. <laughs> this is, uh... Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. I thought it was from the Middle East, but I think it's Venice. It's the marketplace it's in Venice. Venice. Yeah, that Leroy Neiman. Venice. And also, that's a very low number. It's 250. So that's probably like six, seven thousand dollars. Wow. This uh, is crazy. And also remember, they have different sizes of these different issues. Like, this is like the biggest size, the lowest print. It's a, it's like cool pieces, you know? So, Do you think I should stop donating all the artwork I find and yes, actually start them? Um, is that, is that a New Year's awesome. resolution? Yes, please. If <laughs> like, you can do anything, like, if you want mom advice from me, okay, I'm ready. never sell your art. Always do your research. I didn't research. sell it. I donated it. <laughs> I gave it away. That's where the biggest home runs have been in San Diego and Southern California where people All have the world. Like, life-changing stories with storage buying. <laughs> a lot of the people that became millionaires with storage is half of the time it's through art. Yeah. Wow. Every time. How did I how did I do it? It was through um, mouse poop. Um, it was through Christmas trees and ornaments. <laughs> it was through... Um, well, there's there's a lot of weird stuff in there. We all know that every single storage unit you find um, paraphernalia and um, that other P word. Oh, Jeremy, somebody in chat just asked if you're married. I'm married! <laughs> Jeremy, Wake up. what's going on? Prayer bench. What Pray are you praying for? I'm praying he'll actually find some garbage pail kids and sell them <laughs> to me. Uh, I need the Lord's help. Supernatural help here. <laughs> You want to know what the coolest part about the warehouse is? Always. Okay. Uh, do you guys have secret rooms? Like, we have secret... We can't talk about that. We do have a secret room, but we can't go in that one. We were foolish. We keep we... our garbage pail stuff in there. We showed a secret room on the, on the Hales headquarters. At least, we showed one of them. We showed one of them. <laughs> no, it was not good? No, it was great. It's a pretty cool secret room. All right, what's your room? What video? Oh, I was no, 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 My here? favorite here. room. So, the only thing get, you become a germaphobe, right? Uh -huh. favorite. My, well, it's my... So we have a bathroom downstairs uh -huh. for guests, and we have a bathroom up here where only me and Casey can use. I even told him, no, I, stop, I told him twice, I'm like, if I ever catch you in this bathroom, I'll fire you. Don't Do you me. have any idea how much this is worth? Well, I got warts, so I don't know if you want to sit down. He's, he's like his mother-in-law. You like won't let your mother-in-law use your golden toilet? Nobody no. can use this bathroom. This is nobody. This is for exclusive pooping. Like, this is the king of storage wars sits right here. The throne. On the throne. This is where I do my best thinking. That's where I do mine too. <laughs> yeah, I do my, see, I'm not the only one that has an incredible toilet with a view and does all this thinking there. Look, Renee, same thing. Exclusive, best room in the world. I have an important question. Yes. How many golf balls will that toilet swallow? Let's find out. That's not that's not. Renee and I are back in the warehouse area. Look look at this thing down here. Look at that, George, is George. That? that is, that's a vintage antique cash register right there. Where'd that one come from? You uh, don't know. No, the units we just, we have them on our YouTube channel. We pay 26000 And look, it has two drawers. Oh, wow. AB register. Wow. Man, that reminds me back growing up at the Hales Grocery. 
We had cash registers just like just that. Just like that. Just like that. Look at that. Yep. Childhood memories. You, you can take them on an airplane? Probably not. <laughs> just get it an overhead pin. You know what? Especially <laughs> with where I'm going next, I'm probably not going to be able to take that with me. <laughs> yeah, but it's like I thought you got most of it time surfed, so you don't have to go. I told him that in confidence. I told him that in all confidentiality. And here he is. You know what? That video I took of you, I'm releasing it now. I don't, I'm releasing it. I don't think nobody knows. I don't think nobody knows what I'm talking about. What does that even mean? Time surfed. Good point. All right, all right. Let's find some boxes. You got any? What's cool in here? What's okay, cool in here? So, Jeremy said, let's unbox something. I see, I see a stuff of lunch. <laughs> there are Winnie of the Pooh. What is this? Okay. There's so Paulina? many boxes to there's, choose There's from. a Paulina. Okay, look, here's the story behind it. Because we never have time and we're always filming. Along this whole wall is boxes of a unit that we bought on Storage Wars. And it was just kill it. It's the one with all the beer stuff in. Daryl bought the sister unit with all the beer trays. There's literally no room right now. <laughs> George and I are actually PDAing We're behind forced. camera. We're forced to stand chest to chest. Yeah, this is not comfortable. <laughs> belly button to belly button. You keep, you keep talking, Renee. <laughs> keep on talking. So we can try to see if we can get to some boxes. I kind of started messing with it a little bit because I was going to throw some away. But eventually all this will be empty, hopefully the next month over here, and then we'll put up more pallet racking. But half of the boxes, so they eat a complete trash or they're like really cool. Do you like vintage military jackets? Do we ever? You do? We really? really do. You want to see what came out of this unit and why the reason why we still got the boxes? Yeah. Let's go back to the office. I'm gonna show you something cool. We're going to the office? Going to the office. We're supposed to be following them up to the office, <laughs> yeah. not standing here belly button to belly button. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Where were you? We were waiting for you. Were you? Yeah. I mean, I'm right here right now. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's like literally eight steps. <laughs> so you like military jackets, right? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, wow. Check this out. Wow. It's all handmade, 60, 65, 66 it's Vietnam. So sorry about that. Do you, do you know what this reminds me of? When you were in Nam? Uh, the, the unit we just, the Nam unit that we bought in Florida. With all the battle plans. Oh, yeah, that unit. Was and then he was awesome. in the CIA. This might be his jacket. No. Check this. <laughs> the patches. Oh, my goodness. That That's is cool. cool. So we found more stuff in that unit and also hoping to find more paperwork and sell it as a package. But mm -hmm. this jacket right now is probably a couple thousand dollars. That is cool. That is pretty cool. How much did you sell uh, our NOM jacket for? Uh, I don't remember. A couple hundred. Mm-hmm. Did it have all these old patches and stuff? And I didn't, Oh, we sold hundreds of patches from Nam with it. No, but see, okay, look, when you go to collectibles, like this has this guy, and this was actually on Storage Wars, but see, this has the guy's name, unit number, all the information, so they can actually find out where exactly he was or what happened. Oh, they have the information. Oh, yeah. And every single it. confidential manual from Vietnam Wait, and did handbook. Did you sell it like in a public auction place or? On the YouTube YouTube. Channel. We sold it on YouTube. And they did Working extremely buy, well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you did do well. Whoever bought it did extremely well. And we want that. That's what we want. We I, sell, we resource to our viewers, and then they resell, and then they share their success stories with us. If they're real Vietnam jackets with all information and the real patches, 200 bucks, sign me up. I'll take as many as you oh, can find. Oh, it's 100% real, and you would, it'd blow his mind what we found in there. Mm -hmm. Mil oh, man, you know Thanks what? for calling me to bid on the auction. Yeah, I should have. I <laughs> should have. Yeah, I would have we doubled found, your sales. We found drawings, like hand drawings of like their planet of plan of attack, and it was really cool. This dude was a dude of all dudes. He's probably looking for you right now. You bought his storage. He's dead. Or is he? This case looks like it's filled with a ton of cool stuff. Can you explain a little bit more what's in here? Wait, yeah. before you do, is it Casey with a case? Right, exactly. <laughs> but um, don't. Dad okay, it was fun. a bad, bad dad joke. I apologize. <laughs> I, get it all. I, I, I the sunshine band. Anyway, so these are Royal Dalton mugs. Um, we have really cool '80s. Um, Is that Star, Star Wars? Wars? Yeah. Not for sale. <laughs> You're my favorite character from Star Wars. <laughs> all right. And then we have. Um, even the fastest woman, the Olympian, we bought her storage unit. Oh, wow. Um, wow. This racing car. Um, 
Cutco knives, you name it, we have it in here. These little trinket boxes? Oh yeah, those are all worth good money. Oh, I love selling them. So knives. anything we needed more time to do research or set aside, we're gonna sell it later. As you can tell, the whole yeah. warehouse is like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's been just kind of tossed in here. We we get it because we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Although I've I've released more stuff, such as the Vietnam stuff. Which you sold way too cheap, and I'm pretty sure that guy's not dead is looking for you. Hey, don't you? You like trains, don't you? Like old vintage trains? Love trains. All right, I just saw this box right here. You found a box? Mine isn't. I have a box. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Actually, want to go through a fun box? Yeah. So I have Always. This, I have this for about 10 years, I think. You've had this for 10 years? I think. I'm not, I'm not sure okay. if that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. No, I don't think so. Well, oh, it's just from the $26,000 unit. $26,000. Okay, I have it for two years. Okay, two years. <laughs> Difference. But you like vintage toys, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is probably 1940s. Yeah. All right. What kind of price do you put on that? I don't think I've ever unpacked boxes. I don't even know. But, you know, we're a professional company, so we don't just have the front. We Gotta have, have the, the back. We Gotta have the, have the back. To transport. Actually, that's not the same one. Well, let's see what else we got in here. Hold on. Okay, top of my but head. That's probably like 100, 150 bucks, I'm guessing. So I was thinking without the back, it's 100 bucks. With the back, I would think it's more... Just just from my experience in selling them, I would think more you're closer to 250. But you but, do sell Vietnam jackets for 200, so it's probably a lot more. You know what? I gave him a deal. It was a deal. <laughs> no, it was a steal. But that's besides the point. Oh, oh those are cool. They redid that one. I love this old stuff. This old stuff is so cool. Oh, you know what? I think I see something. Didn't you ask how much I will sell you to scale for? Yeah. And we had problems with carrying it on. Here's a mini scale. Oh, wow. Well, you know what this is, right? Mm -hmm. That's for uh, recreational uses. <laughs> no, actually, I thought it was a salesman sample, but I don't think it is. It's not. It's I mean, it could be. The street pharmacy. Yeah, yeah that would so be for like pharmacy, street. right? But look how cool that is. That's beyond Let's put that in the cool. case, actually. See, this is what happens. We have pack <laughs> stuff. And this is, and there's a the spot. Table. There's an empty spot right next to that turtle. <laughs> you have a beautiful turtle in there. Check this out. This is Limoges right here. That's actually a perfect spot for that little scale. There you go. That's cool. And you know what happens once we do that? Then, um... It's not for sale. Then... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it goes in the personal collection. So I was said in case storage wars doesn't work out... Do you ever sell anything behind his back? Sometimes. <laughs> I got your hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you kidding? She's the biggest hoarder out there. She's, she's like the one... I don't collect anything. I don't like anything. What all the piles? <laughs> oh, that's just uh, blah 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 blah. I like to decorate. <laughs> oh my goodness! Penny bank. Oh, old penny bank. Oh. It's missing. It's missing some. The book of knowledge. Yeah, it looks like it's missing. Yeah. But so it's, it might uh, be in there though. It could so be in there. This is actually, I think, it's a Swiss or German story. This is William Tell, I think. Did he so that, the money? No, it's just the one that they put the apple on the hand. The apple. And shoot it off. Oh. Penny oh. shoots the apple it's off. It's William Tell, right? Yeah, it's yeah. William Tell. They don't make coin banks like that anymore. So I think that's what a car transports. Very cool. I've never completely out. So one time we pulled this box and we actually put a little bit in our YouTube video. And then we're like, okay, well, we got enough of this. And then we just never did it. And then you just throw it back in. You're like, all right, on to the next thing. I forget. Like I said, we literally have probably like a few thousand boxes like these. Toy train. Look. How many boxes do we have? A lot. Not right. that many, though. We've been, that high, that I've been pushing to get rid of stuff. I've Ooh, been really pushing, like, get rid of it. I don't care what it sells for. Harry Banana owns one of those. Harry, back at Hale's Harry Banana does. He's got some junk in his trunk. Back at Hale's headquarters, he yep. owns one of those life-size. Harry Banana is uh, is our old Harry Ferguson tractor that was left with Hale's headquarters house. Yep. Oh, check this out. See, I love oh, tractors for man. some reason. Oh, wow. Fortson. And obviously this figure wasn't original, so we just added it. That's a one. But it's it's Super signed cool. and numbered. But I like the tractor. Like I, for so I don't know why, because I'm not a farmer or anything, but I like old tractors. If you ever want to do some farming, come visit me in Florida, okay? So it's just like, hey, we hang out and I'll show you some farm stuff, or it's like, hey, I'm gonna have you work 18 hours on the farm <laughs> until you never call me again. <laughs> tell them tell them how fun it is driving a tractor. It's very therapeutic, Renee. Extremely you yes. would love Can we it. go through stuff? Oh, through yeah. stuff, you can go through stuff, you can stab stuff, jab stuff, cut stuff, you blaze tear trails. it down. You could definitely blaze some trails. That's a cool tractor. Old Ford. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I you're the I kind of guy that box? You, I love it. I think you would love I think you would love driving a tractor. Mm -hmm. Probably. I like anything big. 
Now, that's not one of the old pencil sharpeners. What is it? A little trinket it's, it's box? It's a little trinket box. It's uh, okay. popular imports. It's junk, to be honest. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's like $5, $10, but it's not. And this unit is so funny. So we bought this. It was like $5, 10 by 20 so We spent 26000 Oh, this is cool. Tin. That's right? an old tin. Yeah. Cedar. And look at the condition of this. That's beautiful. It, it, it is old, but it's such nice condition. It almost looks like it's fake, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's an old tin. It's probably 80s. Because the paint job is... So, I just like... So, like, I just love going through this. Stuff. So, I think that's your pencil sharpener. There's your pencil sharpener. Yep, there's your pencil sharpener. So, I just love going through this old stuff. And this guy has boxes and boxes. And one box was, like, okay. And then the other box, all of a sudden, it's, like, all full of miniatures. But I think... Oh, that's just cool. So, but I know you, I, I told you trains. You want to unbox stuff, right? Let's unbox some stuff. Here. Yeah, I don't think they were great or anything, but here's some old trains. Huh? I was just wondering what we have here. I think DVDs in there. So cool. American Flyer. These are probably 1940s. Look right? at that. It's a set of four wagons. Wow. So, we have out there, so one side of the warehouse is the beer unit from Storage Wars. Then the other side is from the $26,000 unit. Oh, you want to see something really cool? Always. Let's, come on. Let's go look at something really cool. A lot of these boxes right here, they were put in like probably like a year ago. And we just never came back. And you go through them and this guy also collected a lot of beer stuff. Well, you get so busy with filming. So you're on, you got storage wars, you got reselling. You got your hands in business just about anywhere and everywhere. Yeah, so. we had eBay sponsorships, whatnot sponsorships. Yeah. We yeah. also, we have a huge sponsorship with America's Card Room. We mean Casey yeah. both ambassadors for yeah. them. So we play a lot of poker. So once you buy it, there's not a lot of time to go through it. You have to wait until you get some downtime in your life. And we just don't get it. Actually, if you want us to see to go through all this stuff, it's going to be on our eBay. We're actually going to film every box to go through. Will it be, so you're going to post it on eBay or it'll be on your YouTube channel? It'll be on our YouTube channel. He said eBay. He said, did I hear eBay? Did he, he did say, say eBay? He eBay, but he meant YouTube. He meant I YouTube he channel. Meant. You know, half of Victorola? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this, is this the pencil sharpener one? No. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know if you put like a big pencil in there. You ever? Ah! Oh! This guy just collected all these old beer cans. Do you know where we have the box? Well, they have like beer cans from the 50s and like from the Pittsburgh Steelers and stuff. Do you know? I think they're over there. It's all buried. But see, like he has keep on here and like most of these are crap. I'm just going to get rid of them. You know what I'm thinking? What? You and I should do an all night guys night here and we should just dig tunnels through all this stuff while the girls go out to eat and get their nails done and get I massages. do need a pedicure and a manicure. Right. Do you want to get a pedicure with me? Yeah. You digging? Digging tunnels and paths and secret secret forts Building and places forts. to hide. Yep. When I get in trouble, this is where I come and I just go through boxes. Did we just become best friends? 